Hello! Hey! This is the largest group we've had that doesn't involve Adam. This is the last thing we're ever going to do. <laughs> this is the days of our lives. No, this is the largest group we've had in recent memory that's not that's out of towners or British. Skype or domestic. Google. Yeah, we're all domestic. Now, several. Except for Justin, he's an import. Yeah. Several vows have been broken in this because, if I recall correctly, Justin and Kelly refused to ever do an episode with Dan, and Dan refused to ever do an episode with Justin and Kelly. Hmm. And somehow, Did through, through, for, through heavy arbitration... Well, look, what did this hold on, Kelly, 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 things that you and Justin may have said, and that Dan may have said... Through and, YouTube? And things that Scott and I might have said... On your behalf. On your behalf. Two different things. Yes. So maybe we heard you say it, and you just don't remember, or maybe Scott and I just made that up when you weren't here. Yeah, either way... It's true. Either way, we got everyone together. Yeah, either, yeah, either uh, way... This is, I'll sign this, off is, it. this is a goddamn Morrissey reunion. The band's back together. <laughs> Morrissey. <laughs> it, was, it was less likely for this to happen than a, Mor a Morrissey, you know, or the Smiths, you know, <laughs> who are more than one person. <laughs> Morrissey reuniting with Johnny Marr is kind of what I was C going for. Congratulations, okay. Scott. Anyway. You suck. <laughs> you are terrible. But yeah. This is harder to do than that. This is CNN. <laughs> this costs us more money than it would cost for that to happen. So who's worse, Scott talking about this show or Liam Neeson talking about the NFL? Has anyone seen that clip? No. No. Or Clint Eastwood talking to the Republican <laughs> <laughs> convention. Or anywhere. I didn't, I didn't see any of that stuff. For those who haven't seen it, Liam Neeson it was on ESPN talking about, the, I believe, the Thursday night game. Uh, and it was, it was there to show his new movie, uh, Take Taken 2, two Take which should be called Taken Again, but... Take, Taken 2, we're Taken, right? We're Taken. Taken. You're going to need to get under the bed again. You're going to be Taken again. again. I have a very special set of skills. Again. again. <laughs> I will find you, and I will kill you. Again. again. Anyway, anyway, continue your story. The gist of it is Liam Neeson talking about how he's never watched the NFL before <laughs> up until that game. I have no business here. And was asked a question and answered a different question. Answered a question about soccer. <laughs> but to lead into the segment... He fought a wolf. He did not fight a wolf this time. Goddamn right he didn't. But they said, and here we are with Liam Neeson, and Liam Neeson's like, oh, I don't know. Uh, can we start it over again? No. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> we need to see this video. Yeah, Liam doesn't do a lot of live stuff, probably. No. But he's a better comedian than he is a football commentator. <laughs> yes. He does have full-blown AIDS. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that thing. That was Life's Too Short, right? Yeah. yeah. That, that, I still haven't watched that, but that looks real funny. Yeah, I think sport, the only sport he's familiar with is soccer, because he was also on the Jon Stewart show. And John Stewart was talking about the Mets, and Liam Neeson had to stop him in mid, like, <laughs> sentence and said, excuse me, you have to like, excuse kind of my ignorance, but the, the Mets, they're, um, the, um... I'm going to say it. Tennis? He <laughs> 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 didn't know baseball. He had to make the sound. He did baseball. <laughs> the visualization and sound of baseball. And so look at that. John Stewart just about cried. <laughs> <laughs> well, when people aren't from here... You can't expect them to know everything about here. Yeah, no, but there's no baseball in Europe, so and if there and if there is, baseball? it's terrible baseball. <laughs> Leave it to the North Americans, the Central and South Americans, and the Japs. Yeah, granted, all all Asians. That's true. Taiwanese are pretty good. This interview was done like in Korean. Korean. Yeah. This interview was in 2008. You should have at least seen something. <laughs> Not necessarily. Well, considering this interview was live on ESPN last wow. week. <laughs> Kelly, how many cricket matches have you seen in your life? Just, you? just the four? Just the four. Yeah. I, I feel like if I watched all the cricket, all of it, I still wouldn't get it. <laughs> no, I, I still wouldn't. I've, I've watched the It'll entire matches cases. and not <laughs> understand it. Cr cricket is impenetrable. Like, I can't... I, just, I, could, I could never get into it, despite my best efforts. I made a terrible rookie mistake yesterday night. I was at a birthday party at my girlfriend's friend's house. I guess she's technically my friend, too. 
They are con- I think if she was, you would have said it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend's fine. Whatever. Anyways, so I'm at, I'm at this birthday, and my girlfriend's two years younger than me, and so is her friend. But her friend's cousins were there, and they are like 18 or 19. So they're a little more age appropriate for you. No, they're too old. Okay. <laughs> and anyways, I'm, I'm there, and she's got a pool table. She's got, um, you know, what's the one that's got, like, the more square table with the bumpers? Pachinko. <laughs> <laughs> it's bumper pool. Bumper is that what it is? Bumper yeah, pool? Okay, yeah. yeah. So she has a bumper pool table and a dartboard. So I am playing dart. So you're throwing darts at the bumper pool table. I'm throwing a dart. Yeah, I'm throwing dart. darts. Going for a dart. <laughs> Completely different things. Anyways, so I'm playing darts. Right? Like I'm playing darts against my girlfriend. Did you did you throw any one hundred and eighty? Well, this is okay to it. So, but we were playing the game where you have to go around the board and hit like oh, the one that the is, right? Okay. So we're hitting it, and at one point I hit all three in the same spot. Like, not the 180, but whatever. And so I literally say, 190! And all these 19 year olds just turn around, like, what the fuck are you doing? And I'm like, what, you guys never seen freaking darts on TV before? They're like, no, have you? I'm like, yeah, I watch that shit all the time. It's awesome. All those drunk fans just watching people play darts and drinking. And I'm like, and then when they get 180, they go, eat shit. And so I continue playing, and then they're like, hey, Drew, who's your favorite dartist? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a favorite dartist. I just like watching darts sometimes. I love dartist. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that is that the correct term, a dartist. I don't know if it dart is. Player. My favorite dart player is the Power Phil Taylor. I know he is. Yeah. I like Barnevel. Is that his name? Yes, uh, Raymond Barnevel. I think is his name. Right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I also remember watching darts on TV with these two guys. Who I'm not going to tell you who these two guys are. <laughs> <laughs> He's pointed, yeah. but you'll have to guess. <laughs> and I, I'm pretty sure that was the entire reason we went to Heat Puss for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> we were hoping to, to hopefully go to, to a, a darts match. match. Dart match. We didn't, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> 95. Where else, what other amateur cinema discussion podcast are you going to get to hear darts talk on? <laughs> <laughs> you lucky bastard. <laughs> By the way... Who says going for a dart? <laughs> I'm going for a dart. Dan, Dan, Dan. I know. People, but... people in the prairie say, going for a dart. Why do <laughs> Save yeah. that dart for later. Yeah, who else is from the prairies? <laughs> Shut. <laughs> oh, my God. Shut your <laughs> Who's from the prairies, Kelly? Don't set him up. <laughs> here's here's, him here's up. the best part. Everybody listening to this podcast that's not in this room is going to have no idea what we're talking about. I don't know. It's, pretty, it's, 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 it's like what? you said. Small time comic. Lo- local jokes get your local work, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, if they're well versed in their bad Canadian comedy, they'll know what we're talking about. I think Kelly could go further than Ron but, James but, just but I, on that one joke he told her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they do know all the more reason for us to find out why. Uh, I Kelly, who, 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 else, <laughs> <laughs> who else lives on the prairies? What? <laughs> Ron James from the prairies, eh? Yeah, he's a good Canadian. Yeah, yeah, let's do the stand up. You know, talk about the two Hortons, you know, and the, and the Canadian tire, out of Moose Jaw, where it snows all the time, eh? Where we can put the chains on. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> 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 he's talking about the chain around. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just, oh. The whole time was probably I was just trying to figure out ways to kill myself with my dick. <laughs> 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 Okay, I 
again. <laughs> Six of you that we haven't chased off yet. It's okay, they fast forward and pass the Canadian comedy. <laughs> your homework right now. I want you to pause or stop and delete this podcast. Go to YouTube, look up Canadian Treasure, Ron, Ron James, and see how A, God Awfully is, and B, that Kelly is legitimately funnier. <laughs> Kelly should be more famous than Ron James with his horrible Ron James impression. Oh. You know, sometimes, <laughs> when you put a tuny in the changing seat, it doesn't give you back. What's up with that? You got a thing against polar bears, eh? <laughs> Again, and I would venture back into not even jokes. Yeah. Just not, just smother him with a pillow. That is half of his act. That is half of his act. Yeah. Yeah, so, just yeah. making references to, it, this is your country, you live here, you know these things. It's Here's funny. some stuff. Pop culture in Canada references. Yeah. So yeah, go go look him up and then take a, take two weeks off of work. He is awful. Lie down. <laughs> so while you go look him up, we have something to busy ourselves with. Although you won't hear it if you go and look him up. Yeah. Okay. So what you do? Go look him up. Go and go, go, go a watch browser, browser, perhaps. Yeah. Go separate browser. Go ten. Pause, only window. Pause this. Go spend half an hour on that. Then come back, fast forward this half an hour so you don't hear what we were doing while you were looking, and then it'll be like we never left each other. <laughs> what, was, what was my plan? <laughs> Did you have a plan? I completely lost the thread of that. So what are we doing, Drew? Well, we we played it a little bit, just Scott and I, at the after we uh, we let Alex go to bed at a nice, reasonable 3 a.m. where he was. Yeah. I think it was t- 1? 1 a.m. is that when he went to bed? Whatever. He, yeah, he went to bed 1 or 2 a.m. It was a major time difference, so... Yeah. Anyways, we let Alex go to bed, and we played this, just the two of us. We had a quick, brief uh, version, we played five names, of uh, the Would You Bang list, uh, which is just names of female actresses, and you say whether this, or not... This is the way we loosely tie it to cinema, is... They're actresses. actresses, yeah. For the most part. <laughs> I think they're all actresses. I don't think okay. I have any names on here. No, there, there's a couple. There's a couple. Yeah, we played this game just casually at, yeah. at restaurants. Yeah, we just played it when we were yeah. trying to... But, but basically what it is, is I'll say the name, we'll go around the group, and you say... I think the way that Scott and I did it is we said, it if we would do them... No, we said if we would do them now, or, I, oh, you or, can or, or if at any point. At any point, okay. okay. Right, and then you can don't have to go into any more detail. So, like, so like you know, for example, if like Helen Mirren came up, like 1978, no, now, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I would say 1940, yes. 1940 through today. Today, oh yeah. There's <laughs> no day. there's no <laughs> scenario <laughs> I'm in that Helen what, Mirren. When the fuck was she born? Like, I don't probably know. Probably the 30s. I don't know. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it's probably early 40s. Yeah. Well, <laughs> all right. Creepy best. Here you go, Helen <laughs> Mirren. You are a babe. You would fuck the twinkle in Mr. Mirren's eye. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. All right. Okay. okay. Well, well, we'll start. We'll do a few more than five because it went really fast with just Scott and I. But we'll see. So the first one, the first one process. written on the list here is I know an obvious yes for one person in this room, uh, and that's Tina Fey. So, Who has the scar fetish? Oh, I thought it was you. <laughs> I, I mean, yes, I just didn't know I was that obvious. I yet. assumed it was you because I knew you would bang her. I would. <laughs> oh, yeah, know. she's totally a babe. She has a scar. She's got a scar. She's got a face. Dudes want to fuck that scar so bad. <laughs> Kelly Summers, yes or no? Yeah, sure. Dan? Easy yes. Oh, oh, yeah. There you go. That was pretty simple. Tina Fey, if you're listening, and I'm sure you are. <laughs> you, have, you have five guys. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Keep that is that, yeah, what you're doing. That's a, that's a five. Hey, Tina! You're a first guy! <laughs> <laughs> we, uh... Because once we did our... We, we had some disagreements just between the two of us on yeah. a couple of them. And yep. Out of, out of the box, we got a... a five. Five, five, five. Five. This next one for me... The, there are dudes higher on the list for me... <laughs> <laughs> ...than this person. Okay. Nobody... I, 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 have, I have voiced my hatred for this person. Okay, I don't know who this person in is. In every forum I have ever been able to speak. I don't know who this person is yet, but I'm going to give you a would you rather. Oh. Okay? Well, can we hear... No, I, I, want to, I want to go in blind, and then I want Drew to answer. Rob Lowe or this person? Oh, well, but Rob Lowe is above a lot of women. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Lowe is the handsomest man. Did you see him in what's the hockey movie with Patrick Swayze? Oh, Young Bloods or Young Bloods. Young Bloods. 
That movie is just about him and Patrick Swayze. Oh, Kelly, I, I legitimately read a, for whatever reason, read a Flickster review that the guy wrote, I have seen gay porns <laughs> that were less gay than Youngblood. <laughs> But it, it and does, he screws a girl in that movie, but it's still, like... It doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, it's it's all about him and Patrick Swayze yeah, same, wanting same to... As, same as Top Gun. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. There's a lot of, a lot of gay Put things happen in the 80s. Gun. Putting the top in Top Gun, exactly. <laughs> okay, well, so the next name on this list... Who do we got? I want to see who you don't dislike so much. ...is the queen of Eurotrash, Mila Jovovich. Ah. <laughs> I, I, there, there is no scenario where I choose Mila Jovovich over... Anything. <laughs> she's the fifth element? Yeah. Fifth element, Resident Evil. Okay. Uh, yes, that, yeah, yeah, she does a lot of those Resident Evil. Yeah. yeah. There's one out right I now. All of them. All of them? One out right now that I'm sure nobody has seen. There's, how many? There's six of them? There's five. Of them? five. 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 The, the fifth one's out now. Six so. games. Oh. No. And I saw people saying something about six. Urgh! What's going on? Yeah. So, yeah. So, where do we stand on this? Scott Henson. I'm going to give it a no. Kelly Summers. Probably not as strong a nose drink, but. Still not. I would say yes, but only if crazy 3D effects were happening while I was doing it. <laughs> so, <laughs> just so, like in a movie. So in Resident Evil, sure. you would. Or like... What if she was Fifth in element. Fifth Element Wardrobe? Was yeah, the, the, the red hair, the short red hair, the, the weird strappy thing. thing. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Peggy. We got a sure from Kelly. <laughs> Daniel. Yes, if I was in the cast of Dazed and Confused with her. <laughs> no. Otherwise, no. I right. forgot she was in that. I think Fifth Element for yes. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Sure. So, yeah, nah. that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a two and a half? Yeah, you hate her the most. Okay, next one is a former co-star, I guess current co-star, because she's in the current Resident Evil movie, also a cast member of a show that many of us in this room love. That is Michelle Rodriguez. Oh, mm. Justin Chu. I'm gonna say no. Interesting. Not crazy about her face. That's fair. It's a kind of a manly it, it, face. It, it takes a while to get used to. <laughs> Daniel. I'm pretty sure she could kick my ass, but yes. <laughs> what do you mean, but yes? Yeah. Literally, your criteria is, I'm pretty sure she can kick my yes. ass. And be so and yes. yes. So yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Kelly Yes. Dan, has a question finish? <laughs> <laughs> I hope that that was subtle enough that it picked up. But barely. Like, you have to turn your volume up a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it, it, that wasn't subtle at all. That picked up for sure. It, it definitely did. It definitely did. No. Yes. Yes? Yes. Scott? No, it's it she's it's a very strong jaw she's got <laughs> she's got going there and she's ethnic and you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm resounding yes, so that puts her at a three. Alright. All right. Um Ten. out of <laughs> Next one up is the Hey <laughs> There was some anger because there was Ron James. There was side Ron James going on. <laughs> which I can't bar. even fathom because why would you do it if you didn't do it for the recording? Did you do it for Dan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. God damn it. If only you people saw what was going on in this room. Guys, anger, there'll be a wood chip Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, the next, <laughs> the next one on the list is uh star of Saturday Night Live and Parks and Rec, Amy Poehler. Ooh. Who's up? Uh, I'm going to Google Kelly. No. Dan. No. I will say early Parks and Rec, yes, but now she's starting to look a little weathered. Since she had the baby, basically. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. But I, I'm still a yes. I'll give her a yes. She, she's not... The babyliest in the world, but everything she does is adorable. She's pretty, kind of, kind of huge she's baby mama. Cute, very, yeah. very, very funny. Yeah, yeah. certainly. Yeah. I like her as a person. Yes, but that's a no. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I'm, I'm with you on that. That is a two. Can we hang out, Amy Poehler? <laughs> I'm available for. Yeah, we, you, you can chill. <laughs> I'm not gonna try <laughs> to get children on a play date. <laughs> <laughs> the next, the next one on the list is Would you one. Steal a kid to hang out with Amy Poehler. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. Okay, the next one on the list. It is never okay to pick up a child and run, even if it's only for five feet. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I almost did that once. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it wasn't a child. 
But it was someone I didn't know. <laughs> That's all so bad. Okay. Was it a little person? It, no. Uh, <laughs> well, she wasn't tall. <laughs> what, was it? Was it Gary Oldman on his knees? <laughs> <laughs> No. Was it Tim Conway on his knees? <laughs> Dorf. Dorf. <laughs> uh, you suck. Alright, the next one I just watched her in a movie and I questioned. She's she's by eighties and nineties standards, I guess a babe, but I think she's terrible to look at. And that is Renee Russo. Who's up? Give it to me. Give me the ball. Give me the ball, coach. The ball is handed to Scott. Hate her. <laughs> Hate her in everything. She's the fucking worst. Kill her with fire. <laughs> Next. <laughs> so that's a no? That's a yes. <laughs> oh, <it's> yeah. <laughs> okay. No, I seriously, it's something I have 100% pure, raw, fiery, unnatural <laughs> hatred for Rene Rousseau. Good to know, Kelly. Nah. Dan. Is she in a Scientology union with John Travolta, or am I getting her confused? Uh, I don't know. Is she she Travolta's wife? No. No, no, no that's uh, Kelly Preston. Kelly Preston. Preston. Who's she? Uh, she... Brown, brown curly hair. Yeah, she's in Outbreak, she's in Tin Cup. She in Mighty Joe Young, or something she's, else with a monkey? She's that lady. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> I, showed, saw her yeah. I showed her I showed her a picture, and he said no. She's in Outbreak, which has a monkey. I feel like she's in something with a gorilla. Apparently, uh, he has two monkeys. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> Laser well, <accuracy. laughs> To be fair, she is in the Lethal Weapon series, and Danny Glover's in that. So. That's what I was thinking. That's what oh, I was thinking. Okay. <laughs> and Justin. I just assault a wolf out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that was four nose and a wolf. <laughs> that is a zero. Sorry, Renee. Not sorry. You're the worst. <laughs> okay, I'm going to jump around here. Uh... <laughs> I'm, go- I'm going to one that is a resound. <laughs> are you doing more, Ron James? <laughs> Sidebar, Ron James. You are the worst. Oh, yes. oh, we got no monkeys here again. We just got Brian Mulroney here. Again. Stop the recording right now. <laughs> go to Wikipedia. Put in Brian Mulroney. Read the whole page. Then come back. <laughs> this is the. This is the Congratulations on listening to our lost episode a hundred years in the future. I'm never fucking hearing it. <laughs> oh, Kelly, you are on fire. <laughs> Okay, the next one on the list is a resounding 100% guess for me. Total babe. Star of Weeds, Mary Louise Parker. Scott. I'm in. Kelly. I don't know what she looks like. I will load it up for you. In the meantime? No nudes, though. Dan? Oh. Dan or Justin? Oh, 100% yes. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, here is one of the weeds posters. Though. Is that what we're? Oh yeah. No, I'm not getting one of the weeds oh, posters, but I could. A total babe in that, and all, mm. all and every yeah. single piece of advertising for that show. Yeah. I have never watched a moment of that show, but <laughs> I feel like you would start. Damn. I feel like you would start yeah. smoking weed. So he said, "Yeah." Is that a five across the board? Five. Uh, five. Is she oh. kind of Tina Fey now? Is she the only? She's the only other five. Yeah. Drew and I had a couple of, like. Well, we had two. It doesn't two. really count. It's not really. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, what was what was our two. I don't remember, but... I don't remember. Anyways. Five for five, that's... that's five for five. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, let's... I'm gonna jump around a little more here. Recently got arrested, Daryl Hannah. <laughs> Daryl Hannah. Justin? Ooh, Daryl Hannah in her prime is pretty hot. I think, like, this one's very much a now versus then argument. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Is everyone in for then? I, I, I would say for then. I'm out. Well, I'm not in for then. I'm out yeah, always. No. Like Splash? I'm out. No, 100%. No, no, no. She's got a weird face. She is kind of an alien. <laughs> She's She's face. It's been a while. This is current her. I don't, I don't want to see current her. It'll, it'll ruin everything. Yeah. Current her doesn't look as old as it should, but it looks very manly. more mannish yeah. than yeah. anything yeah. should. Up. Yeah. Do you want to look? No. You don't want to look? <laughs> no, you're going to ruin everything I've ever ever had. Oh, man, i got to find an old uh, picture of her. I was, I was on the fence for now. I'm definitely out for now. What's up? I'm pretty sure she's good then. Jeez, yeah. there's 161 pictures of her. That's it? That is a lot of pictures. Oh, All right. I'm here's, I'm, here's I'm her from not in the world. Here's her, here's her from Splash, which is... Yeah, I'm in for Splash. 84? In there. 
she can give me a, a boner at age one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll stay with yes. The elusive toddler runner. <laughs> <laughs> so what was that? That was a... I think it's... Yeah. I believe it's a three out of five for then and a zero for five for now. Yeah. So is that average? Average is still one point five. Yeah. One point five. Uh, okay, well, let's see. Another... Oh, God. <laughs> Stop whatever you're doing. <laughs> I just thought of another one. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, hold on. Okay, the next one up... It's going to be Kelly doing his run, James. No, 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 no. <laughs> Okay, uh, another tough one. A lot of people seem to think she's attractive. I put her just slightly below Sarah Jessica Parker, who is just oh, I'm sorry. slightly below Mila Jovovich. <laughs> below Sarah Jessica? Whoa. And people think she's attractive. And some people do. I, I don't. Let's, well, let's do this it. is, uh, is Uma Thurman. Oh. Mm. I do not put her below Sarah Jessica. No, no. no I'm, I'm sorry. I'm going in the opposite direction. I mean, Mila Jovovich, Sarah Jessica Parker, then Uma Thurman. Mm. In it's how I'm going. Order. Yeah. Jovovich okay. is the worst. Okay. So you think Sarah Jessica is better looking than Mila Jovovich? Wow. You That's really hate Mila Jovovich, dude. Wow. You're a trash. It's disgusting. Can you imagine me- Sarah Jessica Parker and Resident Evil? <laughs> <laughs> That's her love, man. Oh, it's the big shaving for the zone. Will I ever find your love? <laughs> <laughs> Look, if it's good enough for the guy from Godzilla, I'll take a... The guy from Godzilla, not the guy from Terrence. No, no, not the guy from Project X. No, that is my go-to Matthew Broderick movie, followed closely by Cable Guy. <laughs> If it's good enough for him, I will take a desperate drunk stab at it. <laughs> so Uma Thurman, Uma Thurman. Name? I am a no. Kill Bill, yes. Nothing else? Mostly Kill Bill. Okay. I'd have to think about other stuff. How is she Pulp in Pulp Fiction? Fiction? Yeah, I don't like the bangs as much in Pulp Fiction. Batman and Robin. Oh, I think she's poison. She's always poison ivy. Oh, yeah, she's always poison ivy. Yeah. yeah. I do like a costumed lady. <laughs> <laughs> With um, pheromones and red hair. Yeah. No, yeah, I'd say more, uh, yeah, at the end of the day, yeah. Look at Maria. Tell me. Yes, from Batman and Robin, as well as Be Cool. Hmm. Yeah, Be Cool. That's pretty odd, Be Cool. That's a gay movie. <laughs> Damn. I'm really on the fence because I find, her, I find her kind of gaunt, kind of, ugh, yeah. you know, a little bit too much for... But she might beat you up, so that's... Well, well, she she might chuck, chuck your dick off with that samurai yeah. sword. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not a fun beat up, though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the yays outweigh the nays, so I'll go yes. There you go, Uma. Not so bad. And yeah, poison ivy all the way. Yeah, that is a four. Ivy. That is poison everyone but me. scale. That is you, have, you have some strong and not necessarily hey, usual hate. There are yeah. people that I hate, and there are people that I love. Yeah. Okay? I'm going to go to You're one... You're a man of conviction, and I respect that. I'm going to go so to one... Hate, that, people you love, Scott. People you hate me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go from one that I hate to one that I personally have, and I'm sure I might be the only one in this room. Hmm. Uh, Kate Blanchett. I think she is a super babe. Mm-hmm. Uh, look it up. Look let's get, let's get, yeah, like, I know her, obviously, but... She's from I need some Lord, of, Lord of the Rings. Is she and British? Yeah. Oh, no, British. yeah, she's the kind of... Don't confuse her with Kate. She's very Lord. pale, very pale, pale and tall. Yeah. tall. Okay. She's I, elegant. She was in the... New, the she is elegant. She's, got, she's an elf in that movie, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. She's, the, the, she's the queen. The ancient one. Yeah, yeah. queen! Hmm? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a... Yeah, I actually like that picture of her. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was a questionable <laughs> yeah. Yes, with a question. Like, I think she's a total babe. I don't like her as much as you, but I'm going to give her a yes. Anybody else want to chime in? I'll, I'll uh, give her a yes, but I don't lust over her. Okay, that's a yes. Yes with an asterisk? Yeah. I will say yes from when I saw the gift. Oh yeah, frumpy housewife. <laughs> with, her, with her terrible accent. What was yeah. the gift? Was it Keanu? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and it's the one with uh, uh, Katie Holmes shows his face. Right, right. check out my top, and Greg Kinnear killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a no. Uh, no. That's a four. It's not, not a fan. Although, three of the yeses weren't real strong, and one was incredibly strong. <laughs> so mine makes it a four. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What? Keep going, dude? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, what? what the 
fuck else are we gonna do? Oh, I don't know. Okay, uh, let's throw out some. I'm more James stuff to think of. Keep going. Let's, I'm gonna throw out some random Mad TV names. Oh <laughs> yeah! I've got, I've got, I have an absolute yes for Mad TV. Deborah Wilson. Hell yeah! <laughs> The jet? Yeah, down with the swirl. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. That's your down with the swirl choice? Yeah, you only nice. get one. Nice you only get one down with the swirl, guys. <laughs> this is your oh, down. I only get one of this worst yet. <laughs> There's only one on this list. Well, it's Deborah Wilson. <laughs> 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 it's just not true. Well, yeah. you made it. Deborah Wilson, the hottest black woman of all time. She had some good notches. <laughs> she did have some good notches. She had great tits. Yeah. So, yeah. Scott? Yeah, great tits and, uh, like... Whatever the opposite of Jello arms is, she had like super firm arms. Yeah, she did. And I like them. So your yes, Kelly's yes. Dan, no. What? On, no. You, you no. met Dan? <laughs> Trust him. No for me. Well, I'm an obvious no because she's black. So. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you and Dan get along well in that respect. <laughs> there you go. Give me some more Mad TV. I, okay. I, want, I want my one that. Do you want nice. Nicole want... Sullivan? No. 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 I'm a no. <laughs> That's a zero. <laughs> I do not think I have the other one written down on here. Or I least... hope your yes is not Mo Collins. <laughs> 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 Collins? Fucking Lorraine? That's not hot? <laughs> 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 Carl! Throw down the loofah. <laughs> 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 oh. It's not Mo Collins, asshole. <laughs> it's not uh, the, oh, uh, that babe from like one or two seasons in the middle. Lisa Cushel? Oh, yes, she is the babe. She's not a babe. Super, super fucking babe. Like, yes, she's, she's so hot. She's not on the list. Blow away. Look, her, look, I'm look looking her up. Hottest person ever on a sketch show. Look, her. Oh, Maybe. Yeah. They spell her last name. How do you spell her last name? K-U-S-H-E-L-L. Yeah. Yeah. You you were going to jerk off so fast. She got married and changed the last name. What? Arch? Arch. Uh, oh yeah, I know who she is. Eh, she's okay. Shut the fuck up, she's smoking. Hey, I haven't seen her. You're, her you're some, smoking. Get some good pictures. Some, some crap. That's not about it. She's, that's definitely now and not Mad TV, though. But. Yeah. Can I see now? I, it's, it's been a long time. Uh, now it's still pretty good. Yeah, she's still okay. Good. But she's then, okay. Oh. Yeah, then. There was no then pictures, there oh. were only these two. <laughs> okay. Not, not for me. Not for me. But she wasn't on the list, so get the fuck out. And anyways, my real yes was Alex Borstein. <laughs> Well, on, only uh, only if it was Lois, because Lois kind of a babe. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, now... Um, <laughs> I'll do one that I'm on the fence about, because I constantly go yes and no. Let's get some debate going. That is Anne Hathaway. Ooh. Mm, Tilly. Yeah. Scott. Catwoman put her over the top. She's in. Justin. Uh, in a pinch, yes. In a pinch. <laughs> no pinching. Easy yes. Yeah. You, I, yeah. It's down to me. I thought you were going to pinch. Were, <laughs> like, like, oh man, I really need to get out of this bomb situation. <laughs> <laughs> and the Hathaway, come here. <laughs> uh, I really need to fuck a celebrity really quick. <laughs> I got a dinner to go to. <laughs> hey, man, yeah, Hathaway. Hathaway, you're in the corner. <laughs> go over here. No, yes, my time is I will say yes. So that's a five. All right. Um... Okay, let's see if I can find a difficult one that's right on this list somewhere. Okay, uh, Angelina Jolie. That, 100% now and then. Now, couldn't hate her more. Tomb Raider, love her. Yeah, Tomb Raider, absolutely. I find her... Even... even I find her disgusting now. Even... Th- well, here she's over 100 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> even... Even when she was 3D in Beowulf. <laughs> oh, man. She turned into a dragon. <laughs> I feel like I'm lying to myself if I just outright say no. But I've never been a huge fan. The argument the argument isn't like, okay, you come home from work and they're naked in your bed. That's not what okay, it is. Okay. Okay. It's if you would make it say yes. Then. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously. You'd say yes to probably most of these names. Oh, but like, does it have a vagina? Exactly. <laughs> right? no, the, uh, party. The, uh, the, the <laughs> hard <laughs> network. The, yeah. 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 the game is if you would want to pursue it. Like, uh, okay. you know, like, yeah, you like, would go for it. Yeah. No, not yeah. really. Okay, okay, then, yeah. And I'm a no, too, because I don't, I've never really found her that attractive. I think she's got a stupid mouth and <laughs> and, I, and I'm not attracted to John Voight's bull Ball sack, so... <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, she definitely looks like a, like a sucker fish now. Yeah. <laughs> I, think but, that's, yeah. I think that's the only thing I'm remembering her of, yeah. but I don't know, it's just... Yeah, like, she's like 95 pounds, I 87 lips. I, I don't like those giant lips. No, they're gross. And, like, she's always had those, I so. think she's pretty fucking hot in Tomb Raider. I, she was okay. I... Sure. Blood around. 
Yes. Uh, Kate Winslet. Uh, that's another real strong jaw, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, I, I'm pretty very, sure. Very talented lady, though. I'm pretty sure I'm talent. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> She's good. British Kate Winslet, She's, talent, yes. she's yeah. talented again. As opposed to... Just making sure that if you said no, I'm okay, it's not the person I'm thinking of. <laughs> she's <laughs> in movies you like, Scott. She's in movies I hate, too. Which ones? Titanic. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, Titanic's not for everybody. You shouldn't... You don't have to like it. Good! Because it's I'm, the worst. I'm just, <laughs> just saying. Hashtag <laughs> video, on the other hand. Titanic 3D get sinkier. <laughs> <laughs> That's my jam. <laughs> but, Titanic no, 3D she, goes protocol? She's a little... <laughs> Scrunchy face and the the face. she's well, not Renault she's, 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 she's not a Zell Wedger, but uh, no, she every she is harsh, is what she is. So that's a no. That's, that's a no. Okay. Kelly, God, no. Daniel, I don't know. one hundred and ten percent yes. Really? Oh, I'll say yes. Strong yes for women. Strong yes. I'm hundred. I'm hundred percent yes too. Yes. He- Heavenly creature. She is a babe. She's like nineteen in that movie. Don't so care. So babe. She is a babe in that movie. You know. I think she's. I, I, I like I like her being crazy in in uh, Eternal. Oh, Eternal uh, Sunshine. Sunshine. Yeah. I think she's. Ah, yes. Yeah, that's right. she's, a, and, and that's she's a good looking. Yeah. Titanic. That's my favorite thing she's in. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go lower. Newer names on this list is Kirsten Dunst. I'm zero. I say no. I'm a not. No. 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 I have to think about it, but no. You want to make like an, no. inter- an interview with the vampire Joe? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Now I do. Yeah. No, I had to think about it because. She's blonde, and they get special treatment. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the correct race. They're, they they got it right, but uh, no, nah, still no, can't do it, Kirsten. That is but, zero. But like the like the blonde moved you from like three to six. <laughs> <laughs> so good on wow, it's another zero. Okay, uh, Claire Danes. A hundred and. Two thousand percent yes. <laughs> <laughs> Justin has never been more sure of anything in his life. He would bet the farm on it on this. I have the biggest crush on Claire Danes since my so called life. Mm. Yeah, I don't remember what she looks like. Uh, You're Romeo killing. and Juliet, yes. Everything else, no. I even like her. I like her now. I like her in Homeland. No, I'm not crazy. I'll absolutely take her now. Yeah. Justin would take her at any moment in her existence. Yes. There's something. She has. Slightly crazy eyes, <laughs> and I think it she is. Yeah, I bet she's very nice. Thought about that. I, no, I bet she is really. I bet she's nice. great, great to hang out with, and I would like to have danger sex with her. <laughs> <laughs> but you would like to have danger sex. She in the mod squad. Yeah, yeah. she was. <laughs> <laughs> did I get to do my danger in your under BC? There are not and, a lot uh, of more Epps? good yeah. recent pictures of her. Show me a little picture of that from Romeo and Juliet. Yeah, Romeo and Juliet. That's in my so-called Here's my so-called life. Oh, that's a very, uh, that's a while ago. She's good. Uh, I can't hold this forever. Kelly, make a decision. <laughs> she's she's she picture her older, <laughs> older and blonde. She seems good for eight yeah, and, yeah. and be bring her home to your parents. Yeah. 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 She, she, yeah. You marry her. You, yes. you marry her, for sure. Yes. So, Am I the only no, or... Well, I was a kind of a, I was a yes, then... So, so, yes, then, yes, then, no, now. Yes. I'm, I'm yes, whenever. Yeah. Yes. You're a yes, but only half the time? Only normally in Juliet. Yeah, I... Yeah, I'm, I'm a yes, so... Four and a half. Uh, let's see here. Who who else is on this list? Ooh, well, Gap Tooth and a Pack One. <laughs> I know Scott. <laughs> I know exactly where Scott's going yeah. with this. Guys, you know what's a good movie? The <laughs> Highway <Way> Home. <laughs> <laughs> I like how you went. I like how you didn't go piano, but kept her young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I knew you were going young, so. Here's the thing about Anna Paquin. Her face isn't for everyone or anybody, <laughs> really. But goddamn, is she good at getting naked on True Blood? So you got it. She's a fucking trooper. <laughs> but, uh, what do you do? I have seen. Uh, I haven't. I haven't not seen her naked, covered in blood, and jerked off to it. <laughs> so I guess. <laughs> I guess I have to say yes. <laughs> oh, God. Not quite in the same vein as Scott's. You need to watch more True Blood, my friend. I do. But she was so fucking cute as Rogue in the X-Men movies, so yes. That's where I was going. Dan? 
I'm on the... On Dan's having the time. Man. Dan's literally in pain mulling this decision over. Look at you, Kelly. Nah. Not even for next man? No, I found her annoying as hell in next man. Yeah, but it's not about talking. It's I about stuffing her. I <laughs> <laughs> I did not find her that attractive. Her okay. muscle be busy. Plus, if, if I was trying to stuff her next man, I'd die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's true. I'm going to go no. So that's a three. I have to wear that giant yeah. condom suit from the Naked Gun movie. <laughs> <laughs> Before you write down the official score, let me try one thing to uh, sway Kelly. In Triple H, she fucks a werewolf. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, he's not the werewolf. Yeah. Uh, oh, okay. good. Not, yeah. But she, she's open to it. She's <laughs> open to it. <laughs> well, I can't, I, can't, I, can't, I can't be a werewolf because my mom will yell at me. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. That's true. All right, Kelly. Do what I'm saying. Yeah, it's, I don't know. Okay, the size, quick side story. I was sitting eating cereal one morning, and I, I think it was. Were you just thinking out loud? It was like it was Halloween, around Halloween time, and like there was like a, something in the paper, and it had something like a sort of werewolf, and I was like, ah, werewolf. I wish I was a werewolf. And my mom, who overheard that, snapped her head over and said, Kelly, don't say that. Because <laughs> apparently... It's a worry. Yeah, it's a worry. And I'm like, sorry, Mom, that I wish I'm this magical creature that eats babies. And... Yeah, so... That's that. Oh, man. That was a good story. <laughs> uh... That was a good story. So it was... <laughs> Kill yourself. <laughs> Nicole Kidman. Never been crazy about her. And she married Tom Cruise. Not good for business. But she married Keith Urban. Had to sell her vagina to Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't. That's why they got divorced. Yeah. 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 She was a beer. She didn't go with it. But no, I think they kept it. I think it's locked in an ice sculpture in the... What? In the basement of the main church of Scientology. You didn't hear it? What are you talking about? <laughs> Her, Nicole Kidman's vagina. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let the record stand. Uh, well, Tom Cruise was using it. The, so. uh, the head office for the Church of Scientology in Hollywood is fucking enormous. <laughs> it's a castle. Yeah, I drove by it in, in January, and it is like it literally takes up city blocks. Yeah. It, and it's probably 20 stories high. It is gigantic. It's a long way to go for an inside joke, can we agree? <laughs> and, 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 oh, and the fact that it's on L. Ron Hubbard Boulevard. He has his own fucking street well, named after him. Why wouldn't he? <laughs> He invented some fucking rules. She's a no for Dan. She's a no for Scott. Yeah. No for Kelly. I see half. What was that movie where she was? Uh, that Batman. Bewitched. 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 Batman. Not Bewitched. That was a piece of shit movie for the record. No, this guy. Batman. Eyes wide shut. I'll give her a solid half. Australia? Well, <laughs> you were the only one to give her anything. Okay. I'm also an O, oh, so wow. she gets a half. That is a point five for Nicole Kidman. <laughs> Alright. Nicole Kidman getting a half for that thing she was in. Yes. <laughs> Alright, let's let's round this out nicely. We'll go with I um, hope you're gonna say someone's fat. <laughs> <laughs> let's round this out with Moni. <laughs> hey, Scott, read this name right here. You can't believe she's on your list. Do it! Who is it? Monique! Monique. Monique. <laughs> That's not who I'm going with, though. we got to round this out with something good. Something that's difficult. Something that will something lead to discussion, I'm, I'm a fan of, so... Uh, let's see... Well, Monique will lead to discussion, I think. Uh, okay, here, here's one that can be debated upon. Uh, Demi Moore. Hmm. Because she... Hasn't done a lot recently. She's more of an 80s, 90s. She's, she's more of a man now. <laughs> <laughs> she kind of is. I've got no debate. She's a no for me. Yeah, so. no for you? Well, yeah, certainly not now. I'm trying to think if there was something in the 80s I liked her in. I can't really think of it. I she, like that. Oh, she, she is looking... Her boy haircut in Ghost. She is looking haggard. I liked her boy haircut in G.I. Jane. <laughs> hey! Her, her boy, her and haircut. Scott, you just nailed it on the head for me because she is super ripped in that movie. Oh, and that I forgot. Super <laughs> hot. I forgot how much you like her ripped. You know what? Here's hair. the thing. I guarantee you, if I show you that to any one of you, you're going to have a shame boner. Kelly's <laughs> <laughs> already got a shame boner. Well, I've got plenty of shame boners. What's one more? Show me how ripped she is. She's doing no. one-arm push-ups on the back of this cover. 
Oh no, Kate, Kate instantly got hard. Hold the camera, Double Leon! Double Leon! And you, Justin? Uh, I guess my boner kind of said yes. So. Kelly said yes. I said yes. Oh, tricky. Yes, yes, no, no. Your face says no, but your boner says yes. <laughs> my boner says yes all the time. So it gets me in trouble. <laughs> yes, due to her work, G.I. Jane and previous Fair. So tease is yeah, around that time. Paid six million dollars a tip. <laughs> 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 Fun fact, I didn't know that. <laughs> And that ends the Would You Bang It. That's it? That's it? Dan wanted to leave it 10. It is now 10 of 10. Oh, excited about this game. <laughs> I know. I'm 2. Give me, give me one more, and then you guys can keep going, and I'll leave. That's, that's fine. I don't know. You just the whole list, and i got to think of more. Yes, one more. We'll do one more. One more. Better be a good one. Gotta be a fucking... I don't think we got the Drew, it has to be a fucking good one. A good one. Okay. Oh my God, I'm, I'm in a weird, weird angle. Does that say Oprah? <laughs> no, it is not the Oprah. <laughs> oh, worse. Okay, I'm not going to say that. China! She's <laughs> <laughs> uh, not an actress. She's not a woman. She's in movies. She's, She's not a man. Pornographic <laughs> movies. Don't treat her like a woman. Don't treat her like a man. Don't treat her like a movie. I have a damn damn. Fireworks, guns. You've done Fantastic. it, girl. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot. Okay, um... Anyone that doesn't have a giant clitoris would be a good start. Well, here, here's this one that I, I have on the list. As soon as I say it, though, I know exactly where Scott's going to go with it, so I'm not going to say oh, it. just say it! Uh, no, oh, we'll save it. <laughs> okay, fine. If you really want it... Yeah. Drew Barrymore. Oh, guys. <laughs> 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 she was so cute and cat eye Charlie's Angels yeah see what a gentleman are you also I want to fuck her in your teeth Scott a yes <laughs> Kelly no easily a yes oh yeah I'm really torn on her because sometimes she's really cute and sometimes, sometimes she's really stupid. sometimes she has a stupid face no. yes frumpy Drew Barrymore <laughs> thumbs up the frumpy the better for Dan apparently <laughs> Frump it out. Hey, Dan, you want to come over and watch the gif and jerk off? <laughs> <laughs> that? No, uh, no, that's what I was saying about uh, uh, Kate Blanchett. Blanchett. That oh. frumpy housewife like, gets me all the time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, put me down for a half. <laughs> now you can't do a half every time. Yeah, really. You can't do half every you time. You one because we're nice and... Because uh, it's funny to have a point five for someone. Damn it. Gotta make a job. I'm holding you to this one. I'll say no. Damn, that's a two for Drew Barrymore. Dan and Scott. But Scott will only accept anything made in the early 80s. I will go Firestarter and earlier. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's cute. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay, now that concludes the game. Yeah. And that concludes Dan's evening with us. You leave us now? Goodbye, Daniel. Yeah, if you have anything to say to our loyal listeners of kids from New York. <laughs> yeah. What? 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 <laughs> no. Are you drunk? I'm drunk. If you have any person, place, thing, or concept to call a shithead, feel free. Or anything to plug. Anything to plug. I probably have something to plug, but I'm not going to. God damn you, Kelly. God damn you to hell. Six of you got the chains on. I'm fine. Thank you very much. Give us a shit, Ed. Uh, fuck. Um, I thought you were telling me to say Sky Henson. Nope. Just flipping them off like I always do. Mm. And I'm right here, and I would be very hurt by it, so. Please don't. I can't take it. I've got nothing. Sorry. Okay, that's Wait, fine. It's, it's, not the, it's not the end of the episode either. No. Not necessarily, but since you were leaving, you can have one. It's the end of the motherfucking line for you, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's fine. Then, Ooh. depart us. You know who my shithead's gonna wear? <laughs> <laughs> it better be, it, your shithead had better be better than all of the British kids' shitheads. They're horrible. Oh, I can't think of one. Uh, just me, I guess, for not thinking of one. Alex, 
Suck it. <laughs> yeah, they're bad at it. They're bad. Well, because it's impolite, and they're genetically predisposed. They are, yes. They are, they are polite. To being... I've got, a, I've got a million. Polite. I have a million. I, you, I have, hate a lot of people. You have a leather-bound binder. Yeah. <laughs> Full, full of just naked names written in blood. Yes. yes. <laughs> and lipstick. Kelly is cross chopping here. <laughs> 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 oh, Here's the thing, I, I, I went on YouTube, I was gonna post that video on your wall as a funny thing, but I watched the actual video and it was so sad. It's so sad. <laughs> and I, I, said, I couldn't even derive humor out of it, even though I know that the derivative of that video brings me great humor. <laughs> Alright. Bye, the the Bye, video Dan, bum. the video being discussed is the uh, the E sixty documentary on Scott Hall where he's old and fat and very drunk at a wrestling show giving sad, sad cross chops. <laughs> and that's what Kelly was doing to Dan on his way out. The funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's like the saddest thing I've ever seen too, but it, Kelly imitates the sad cross yeah. chop all the time and has never got through it. And corpses the whole time. But completely cracking himself up. Where does the term corpses originate from? It's, 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 British a, term. it's a British term for just okay. like cracking up. Okay, I don't like it. It's weird. It's a weird term. I don't know where what like what I, the derivation I, I, I refuse, is. I refuse to use it. I'm gonna assume that it's, to use it. I'm gonna I assume that. that it's like something like from a specific show or like movie or something where a co- person who was a corpse Oh the corpse bride. <laughs> you know when they made each other laugh in that animated thing? Get out of my house. I'm sorry. You guys get mad at me for Ron James. There, there are, there are, no, Wong. no, Kelly, okay, there will be no Tim Burton references in my fucking house. We've made plenty. Tim of Burton that. makes terrible movies true, that don't involve scissors for hands. <laughs> yeah, that is or, a, or Sleepy Hollow. What about Batman? Eh, Sleepy Hollow's okay. And it doesn't involve Batman, because <laughs> okay. Chewie brought that one up. I don't, uh, Sleepy Hollow is okay. No, I'm, I don't know. It's not my favorite. Oh! It's... <laughs> what? Huh? What? He, direct, he directed 13 going on 30, though, right? No. Oh, because I love that. <laughs> yeah, that's he's, why. He's, he's, he's a director, though, would you? Christina Ricci. No, we yeah. can't play the game. It's over. She's on the list, to too. Also, 100% no. Don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a silly goose. Okay. No more Ron James. No, no, I wasn't that. I just, I just remember her from a fucking movie. What? You know what fucking movie? Which one? What? Are, where am I? We seen Richie? What movie was she in recently that we saw? Oh, fucking oh. Listen. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't <laughs> really <laughs> You're telling me you didn't like that B plot? <laughs> and that was B plot. That was a genius B plot. We. I want to rip my dick off and throw it at you. We've talked about this, yes. We talked about Kelly laying on the ground in, in pro- protest that movie. Protest and pain. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but. I'd watch it again. If we have a few moments here, we as a group separately split up. Separate but equal. Split up into groups, have all watched some bad movies in the last little while. Don't even really need to get into them, but I mean. We can just a cursory glance. Scott and I watched Geely. I was there for that too. Oh yeah, Justin was there. For the back half. For the back half of it. Yeah. Well, all I need to say is Ben Affleck needs to look back on his career. And kill himself? And n- not only kill himself, but think of... Like, he's going to have to do what Tim Allen's done and make a bunch of kids' movies to make up for not only using the word retard when talking about somebody with a mental disability, but, but yelling the greatest line in any movie that I've seen in the last, like, year. <laughs> it's your food, stupid! <laughs> Shut up and eat your food, stupid! <laughs> Yelling this at Justin Bartha. Playing full playing retard. Full retard. Which you never do. And, oh God, the movie was two hours long. We made because it every scene was like... 20 minutes. 10 minutes too long. Yeah. There was the... And, and not to mention the fact that Benefer at the time, was a collective group. Yeah. And they have the most awkward sex scene. Yeah. Like, it is not even... Here's my theory. It's just... Mind-boggling how here's bad my, that was. Here's my theory. Jennifer Lopez plays a lesbian in the movie. Yes. But of course she ends up fucking Ben Affleck anyway because it's a it's a movie. Because he's handsome. Because he's handsome. But my theory is they didn't introduce the lesbian angle and then they went back and like refilmed a bunch of stuff to Af- explain after they talking. saw how unromantic their sex scene was. Well, they're like, well, we we can't just have this be the sex scene. We got to do something. Okay, quick, everybody, think. Drawing board. Uh. 
Uh, she's retarded too. No, that that'll, that'll muddy things up. Uh, she's gay. Perfect. <laughs> like that's the only way. <laughs> oh god, bro. I mean, the I will say the only other good thing about that movie was how the argument between Jennifer Lopez and her former oh, lesbian lover escalated oh, so that's quickly. Almost, almost saved, saved the movie. <laughs> Literally, what it is is. So, her lesbian lover shows up at the apartment that uh, Affleck and, and Lopez are ho- are holding retarded Bartha in, and she gets into an argument because I guess her and Lopez have broken up. So, she literally gets in her face and says, like, I can't believe you're with a guy now, like, I thought we even had something, and Jennifer Lopez tells her it's over, says, fine, if it's over, I'm gonna kill myself right now. And, and we the, thought she was just, and, they, know, and they're both like, hysterical woman. Yeah, they're both like, oh, don't, and then she literally walks to the kitchen, grabs a knife, and, and like a huge knife, like, and goes, Lift, lift, <laughs> and then like lifts her arms up and, and goes, and like, stares at them, and she's just like gushing, horrified. Like, it escalated so fast from like argument to I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was brutal. And like you don't, you don't even see it coming when she says, "I'm going to kill myself," because you don't believe her, because it wasn't at that point in the argument. It just got there so it, it, fast. It went so fast. Okay, not about Geely, because Geely was garbage. And we did not watch the last 30 minutes. Oh, yeah, we fast forwarded. It was too much. Yeah, it was was brutal. It was too much. Brutal, brutal, brutal. You don't make a bad movie two hours. You make a bad movie like 84 minutes. Oh, and and before we get, because we do have a few more movies to talk about, the fact of the matter is this movie was originally scripted, it was 1994? Uh, 94, yeah. 95, 96, somewhere 94, there. 94, 94. 94, it was originally scripted in 94, and then it wasn't repackaged as a movie until it was made. In 2003. The problem between 94, 2003... They didn't update anything! They didn't update the script at all. So, in the movie, Justin Bartha wants to go to Baywatch. Yes. Baywatch! Which was an early, mid-90s thing. I'm gonna say off the air in 97? No, I think it went till 2001. Really? But it, like, they just recycled that cast, okay. like, a million times. The only one that was still there was Hasselhoff, because he had nothing better to do with this sure. time. But, Except he had cheeseburger so he, before. Yes. So he wants to, he wants to go to Baywatch... He is constantly singing rap songs from the early 90s. And, and like, and here's the thing. Because it's a bad movie anyway, the rap songs they used when it was written in 94 were still cliched then. Oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's like, mix a lot. Baby Got Back. Baby yeah. Got Back is what is one of the big ones that he sings. Like, it's, it's terribly... Like, the fact that nobody looked at it and said, oh, it's 10 years old. How eh, can we update it. this? Nah. Nah, we'll just go with it. It's got big, Jennifer, cool yeah, with it. big stars, lots of money. Let's go. Yeah. Okay, so we went from there, and then that same day, we decided that we were going to show Justin Chu's birthday movie that he never got to see on his <laughs> birthday, which was the classic Rush Hour 3. <laughs> and to sum this up in one thing was what Scott said when we saw the movie about a certain scene and the year that it was taking place in. <laughs> now, to refresh my memory, what year was this movie? 2006? Okay. So what I said was, it's a fucking who's on first joke in 2006. Oh my god, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> these are things that were barely funny in the 40s. <laughs> 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 barely funny in the 40s. And only because the two people doing it had incredible comedic timing. You were 65 years late on a bad joke. <laughs> And now you've got Chris Tucker and two Asian guys, random Asian guys, like Jackie Chan, yeah. doing a, what was it, it was a who and a me? And one guy's yeah. name was who and the other one was me? It was horrible. Fucking brutal. Horrible. And then, like, literally, the way that I looked at this movie was, is that Chris Tucker needed the money, Jackie Chan needed the money, but Jackie Chan had the integrity to say, like, like, I don't like this part of the story. Like, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to say this. I'm not going to do that. It's not... Chris Tucker literally said, Yeah, like, you didn't do anything! I am, <laughs> I am so broke, I will say anything you write in this script. And then, because I'll, then I will find Jesus. He had well, some you know terrible That's fucking he lines. He did, he, he did get pretty fat. <laughs> he got really hefty. Yeah. But, oh, it was brutal. Like, like, every line that he said in that movie wouldn't have been funny in an 80s kids movie. And, and we're talking funny in a seventies black exploitation. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, oh, just and like the fact that they they just tried to force this sequel because they both needed the money. And this, the, this was taken to force. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And then, uh, but I do think my favorite part of the movie was the r- random cameo <laughs> by a child <laughs> Yes, Polanski full on in this movie. Yeah. 
As because a, it was filmed in Europe. At, he filmed in Europe where he can stay legally. And continue to rape. Continue to rape. And he played a French the police. The age of consent is eight. <laughs> is there a legal age of consent? I'm going to assume it's either a single digit or non-existent. Okay. Just like the drinking age. Same as the drinking age. Okay. Yeah. But so yes, he plays a police chief and he finger frisks them yeah. both, which is always hilarious when well, Chris Tucker's walking around pretending like he got a finger stepped up his butt. Yeah. So that was pretty brutal. And uh, to, to really nail that scene, Polanski had to use his uh, sense memory of little girls. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Oh, terrible. Uh, okay, so we went from there. That being said, I'd watch it five times before I watched Zeely again. Oh, God damn, yeah, absolutely. There is, yeah, no doubt about that. Uh, and then from there, you and I... Scott and I watched uh, I Know Who Killed Me. 2007 which, Razzie winner for <laughs> worst movie of the year. And it was pretty goddamn awful. It was pretty bad. Two, the two things that stick out to me are, one, Mean Girls, I believe, was 2004. Yeah. And Lindsay Lohan is both awesome, cute, and generally just super... Super great in that movie. Yep, absolutely. And three years later, she is a goddamn motherfucking train wreck. Oh, she, yeah, she is the disgusting like, disease. You can see her, like, I, I feel like there was a scene they forgot to cut where she's doing heroin. Yeah, you can see track marks, for sure. <laughs> like, uh, the, yeah. That's, I feel like they had to change the plot. That's why they cut off her arm in the movie, because yeah. it was just covered in track Yeah, marks. absolutely. But, like, we can't show your arm. We need to green screen or blue glove out your arm. Yeah. Speaking of Blue Glove, thank you for segueing into my second uh, point about the movie. <laughs> you know how good movies uh, will often do some, like, subtle color motif? Like uh, Sixth Sense, when uh, Shyamalan knew how to make not the worst movie of the year. And he did little things with the color red when uh, ghosts were around, or, or, or just Bruce Willis, or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Bruce Willis. There's some, like, subtle thing that you don't even really notice, but if you go back and look, you're like, oh, that was cool. And, like, uh, Mad Men has sort of uh, color motifs for a lot of uh, characters. This was the opposite <laughs> of that. This is red! This is blue! Red, blue, red, blue! 90 minutes later, there's your fucking movie. You got it. Fucking hate it. Slams you over the head with the fucking colors. I swear to God, four minutes into it, when her boyfriend gave her a blue rose, I'm like, I'm going to hate this! <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's a few things that stood out pretty prominently in my head. Number one, how goddamn terrible was Robot Hand? She, so she loses her arm, and then magically a, like, mid-20 black scientist shows up, yeah. and he has created a mechanic. Oh, wait, no, oh, it's, uh, it's Crab Man from My Name is Earl, who looks exactly the same as Crab Man. That's a terrible fucking show. It's better than... Nothing? Jim? Barely. No, it's a lot better. Anyways, loses, as a Scientologist weirdos and stuff. loses her arm. He shows up magically and gives her a oh, magic negro. Magic negro shows up with a. I mean, how good trope. is the trope of the magic negro? Oh, oh, oh my god! Your pants, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Robotic arm that he can just attach that reads the sensors and the nerve endings in her arm, and she can use it like a regular hand. Drew, I don't think you know how smart black doctors are in 2007. Uh, um, <laughs> you know what? I'm sure that I do not. The second thing that really stood out to me was... Okay, so 2007, Lindsay Lohan in this movie plays two characters. Twin daughters that are twin girls that are separated at birth. Nice and, Lindsay and stripper. Yeah, one, one gets to go live with the nice happy family, and the other one gets to live with the drug-addicted mom and becomes a stripper and a drug addict and an overall terrible human being. Anyways, in this movie, so Lindsay Lohan plays a stripper who never gets naked and dances yep. in her underwear. That's how stripping works. She has a shower scene that you see nothing, and she has a full-on sex scene that has nothing. What does it you, take to get a tip? You are telling me in 2007, <laughs> high on drugs, she had too much integrity to show her boobs in this movie? She showed more on TMZ that year. Absolutely. And then, like, what, four years later she was in Playboy that nobody bought? Yeah. Except for, uh, well, he didn't buy it, but... When we were in uh, 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 Rhode Island, we stopped at one of the 7-Elevens, and we saw the cover of the Playboy with uh, Lindsay Lohan on it, and Jimmy Starbucks walks up to it and goes, don't care how drug-riddled and wrecked she is, I would still destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, she's on the list. She'll be on the, a future episode of uh, Would You Bang This? It's very much a then and now situation. Oh, because and, I want yeah. to destroy Mean Girls. <laughs> oh, me too. Oh, God. So much. Like, big boobies. Like, healthy. Great. Pretty face. Like, oh, great. Okay. Like, not a bad actress, right? Like, no, no, no. She's funny. Yeah, she's funny. Her. She's cute. She's better. Yeah. Now, the, the very last part of this, this movie was I heard my very good friend, Scott Henson... Shut up. ...say the absolute gayest thing I have ever heard him say. Preface. Preface. There are a lot of gay things he said. I have said one gay thing, and it it wasn't even this, because this wasn't gay. Before we say it, was I right or was I right? Maybe you're right. I'm not going to admit Don't say to it. Maybe. No. You're a piece of shit. <laughs> piece of shit. I admitted that Rob Lowe is a handsome man, but I'm not yeah, admitting no, 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 to this no, no, gay no. thing that you said okay. in the movie. I'll have to find the scene. I'll, f- I'll find a screen. Lindsay here. Lohan's dad is played by Neil McDonough, who you may know from Desperate Housewives, which Scott has watched every single episode of. Look, I have to have a show to hate watch. I had Housewives and Entourage, and now i got nothing. i got to oh. find something new. I might have to start watching Chelsea lately. Oh, I was going to say, you might have to start watching Winner for the uh, Emmy for Best Standout Comedian or lead, Comedian in a Lead Role, oh, Two, two and, and a Half Men. men. No. Anyways, so he plays the dad, and he, I, he usually plays a bad guy. He usually plays a bad guy. He's a bad guy in Walking Tall with the Rock. Bad guy in Walking Tall. He's a bad guy in. He's no, a, I was gonna say Disturbed. That was David Morris, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, anyway. so he at one point Lindsay Lohan's character wakes up in the hospital because they've just found her on the side of the road, and he's got like the surgical mask over his face and like the do raggy thing that doctors wear to cover yeah. up his. I guess because she's does you know. In case she gets infected or whatever. And it's like a close-up on him. Yeah, and, and he leans in, and he's, like, saying, like, whatever the fuck her name is. Lindsay. Lindsay, <laughs> whatever. And leans in to, like, to, to get her attention because she's waking up, and Scott says to me, Neil McDonough has beautiful eyes. <laughs> and he fucking does. I will stand behind that to the grave. <sighs> they are this, like... Pale yet bright. Well, I'm not going to get into it. Yeah, just, <laughs> okay. you get You'll see. I'm You'll... incriminating myself by saying more. Yeah, I don't care. <sighs> You're the worst. <laughs> Anyways, so that that ended my... I will find that screen cap, and I defy anyone to disagree with me. That ended mine and Scott's bad movies, because then right after that, we watched a goddamn great movie, yes. and I am hoping that our friend uh, Joshua Lamb is listening to this, because yeah. I know he yeah, has a boring. soft spot for this I know, movie. I imagine Nick, uh, Nick Unthank. Oh, probably. Oh, oh, this is Kingpin. This is Kingpin, my friend. This is Kingpin, and... I, oh, great I, movie. I rented the shit out of it in the 90s. I haven't seen it probably since... Probably the early 2000s, so, which, just thinking about it, terrifies me that the early 2000s were 10 years ago. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's been a while since I've seen it, so I wanted to see if it held up. I, I, was, I was optimistic it would, and it did! I, I love everything Woody Harrelson does. I don't think there's any movies that he's in that I don't like. Woody Harrelson's great, oh, and... I thought of it exception. Hunger Games fucking horrible. But anyways, yeah. anything that Woody Harrelson has done before Hunger yeah. Games. And Fair, Fairly's before 2000 are usually yeah. yep. solid? Well, unless you want to count the Stooges, but... That's what, oh, because that was also good? Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> they were funny on Raw. They were funny on Raw, that's it. We don't think outside the box. That was a good joke. That <laughs> was the only good joke. But, like, oh, yeah, that movie so good. Bill Murray is great also, in that Bill movie. Also, Bill Murray never bad in anything. And this is probably, I'm going to say Randy Quaid's best Oh, it's probably the, best thing, I, movie? the thing I like Randy Quaid the most in. Yeah, I don't think I there's... I guess most things he's in, he plays a complete asshole. I mean, I love Christmas Vacation, Yeah, but that's only a Christmas movie. I can't watch it regular times in the year. No. But yeah, this is easily my favorite Randy Quaid movie. Yeah, no, it's it's great. I'm I'm glad it held up as well as it did. And I remember Josh's line on Facebook was that when he's old, he hopes that his hair will look like Bill Murray's yeah. at the end of this movie. All over the place, big girl, <laughs> like like you, like goddamn a, pompadour, like a cobra or a live wire. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's great. There's a ton of... Yeah, if you haven't seen it, you need to see it. Get a hold of it. I'm sure it's on Netflix or something. Yeah. But, yeah, no, great movie. I, yeah, always hilarious. Tremendous. Tremendous. Uh, Kelly, you seen anything recently? What did you you guys saw a few yeah. things. Uh, we didn't see anything together. Oh, we did, but we don't need to talk about it. <laughs> no, it, we don't. It was the garbage Jason 10, oh. <laughs> which we watched for the novelty of it being Jason 10, but... 
He's got a different mask. Thank God that that director is He's dead. dead. Um, I wa- oh, I'm trying to think what. I-, I recently watched all the Rambo's because I had never seen. Any, like I've seen, never seen any of them. I had seen Rambo, the, the latest Rambo, before I saw any of the rest. Um, so I watched through them all. Uh, first Blood, which is the first one, is actually quite good. I have only seen Danny DeVito do a parody of it on its own science. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> That's my experience. So right. one's good. One's quite good, although it's it's around the time where is one just called First Blood? It's yeah. just First yeah. Blood, yeah. Uh, around it's although it's it's the it's because it's based off a book. By David Morrell and um, again with this Kelly loves books bullshit. Every every podcast, oh okay, I was gonna say every podcast we do, he brings up books. What a nerd! Watch Uh, more movies. Watch more movies. Read those books. Because in the movie, uh, Lamb was played by obviously Sylvester Stallone, and the bad guy is like this overzealous cop played by Brian Dennehy. (laughs) Really? Yeah. Nerd nerd director. It's great. Who gives a fuck if we're fat? No, he's great in it. And, oh, uh, I didn't realize he was in it. Because it's, it's, he comes back, he just came out, like, like his, you know, uh, Rambo the Vietnam vet, and he and, uh, comes back, all his friends are dead who came back from Nam. They all died, like, from cancer, from from stuff. And, from uh, life? Yeah. Uh, uh, from the napalm and stuff, so, um, he kind of wanders through town, and the, the, Brian Dennehy, the sheriff, sees him, and he takes him in his car and, like, drives him through town, the other side of town, because they don't like drifters. <laughs> and so he's like, you get the hell out of here. You, you go to Portland, you know, because that's, they're in the Seattle kind of area. Yeah, yeah. And, um, and so, <laughs> so, Randall doesn't like that, so he's like, fuck that, I'm going back and go get something to eat, because that's all I want to do is get something to eat. And then the sheriff arrests them, they put him in there, and they kind of, like, all the cops kind of mistreat him kind of badly, and then he... He kind of starts having flashbacks from being tortured in Vietnam and POW camps, so he goes crazy, and, and so they start this manhunt on him. But anyways, in the book, uh, the sheriff's actually the good guy, and Rambo's the bad guy. Because in the book, Rambo goes crazy. Interesting. From his post, you know, and war to, trauma. And sheriff has to stop crazy Rambo? Yeah, sheriff has to stop crazy Rambo, so. <laughs> but it's, it's weird that they would change the story around, but I guess they, they would, had to make Rambo the good guy. I was going to say, they're probably trying to make Vietnam vets... I'll have a positive twist yeah, as yeah. opposed to a negative twist. Yeah. And, like, so, you know, all this shit happens, and he, like, he doesn't, I mean, he, he, he doesn't necessarily kill people, but he, like, beats the shit out of them and stuff like that, and he, um, but it was pretty good, uh, action-wise and stuff like that, and David Caruso is in it. <laughs> um, and there's actually a really funny scene where he's, I don't know if it's meant to be funny, but it is funny. He's... He's in a... Does he with say Caru- something with, awesome and put his sunglasses on? Yeah, with no, Caruso, no, it's, it's not, probably unintentionally it's, funny. It's not with Caruso. Oh, okay. Rambo's held off in, like, this um, this old man mine shaft, and uh, the the military around that they've used to call in are, like, people who volunteer from the town, who, like, run the drugstore. So they're voluntary like military? Yeah, and it's them, like, shouting out, like, hey, you better come out your hands up, and it's just, it's kind of funny, how to see how they do it, but... Um, story kind of goes on, and it kind of near the end is kind of where Stallone does more, more most of his acting, and it's around the time, the 80s, where when he would start yelling stuff or talking really fast with a lot of dialogue, you could almost see that it's dubbed. <laughs> like, it, it's his voice. It's his voice, but it's not matching what he's saying. Right. So it's like he had to redub the lines <laughs> over in, like, the editing room, and then they had to put it in. But yeah. he did a good job. Kind of like Expendables, too. Yeah. And he talks about how, yeah. like, you know, the, the, the vets who came back from Vietnam were, like, treated like shit, like, as, you know, killers and, like, baby killers and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And, um, to be fair, they killed babies. <laughs> Some of them did. did. And how, like, you can't adjust to the real world. And, uh, anyways, so the, the first one is quite good. Then I watched part two and, and, and three. Not as good. Just kind of, meh. Was it like a forced storyline? More or less. So yeah. they kind of had to try and make it into a yeah, movie? Yeah, pretty much. Like the third one was pretty unnecessary. The fourth one I actually kind of like. Um, Doesn't he rip out somebody's throat? Yeah, he rips out a guy's ass apple with his hands. Yeah. It's awesome. I and mean, it was Patrick Swayze and Roadhouse. He, sure. he ain't bragging. <laughs> That's true. He did. Um, I still have never seen Roadhouse. Neither have I. But I will. I will at some point. I've seen the bits and pieces. I will at some point. Yeah. So I watched that, and I also, there's one other thing I watched, too, that I quite liked. 
Silver bullet. No. Yeah. Oh, everything must go. Yeah, that, that was very good. Right. Yeah. I have that. I haven't seen that yet. It's yeah, it's good. good. It's good. It's yeah. good. Yeah. Will Ferrell doesn't. Will Ferrell needs to do more movies like that because yeah, he needs can't. to do less goofy ones and more. Another Will Ferrell, one of those I have seen along the same lines, is very underrated. I think is Stranger Than Fiction. Yeah, yeah, real good. Yeah, yeah. I didn't mean to see that. A lot of people didn't. Yeah, like that. yeah, yeah. We, we saw that in the theater. Right? Yeah, we saw it in the theater. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should see it, Kelly. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, no. Um, he should do more serious roles, or at least uh, just like, or just subtle. Yeah, like subtle. subtle. Yeah. But I will say. Recently, I did watch uh, Cassidy Me Padre, which is the movie he did all entirely in Spanish, yeah. and it was actually really good. It was really funny because it was filmed in the style of, like, those Mexican, like, sort of daytime soap mo- shows, you know, okay. where they've got, like, the silly backdrops yeah. that are, like, stationary, and they've got, like, kind of, like, bad props and stuff. Yeah. And, but the thing is, too, is, like, I, I guarantee you it was somebody said to Will, like, oh, yeah, I bet you couldn't do an entire movie in Spanish. The and he, hell I can't. And he accepted it, but the problem with that is that when they did it, he did accept it, I guess his Spanish must have been pretty limited because the amount of Spanish he does speak is, like, pretty basic Spanish. Like, okay. I don't know very much Spanish, but, like, some of it I knew. Yeah. Like, the, it seems like the lines they gave him were, like, basic enough that he couldn't fuck them up. Agua. Uh, yeah, kind of. Uno. <laughs> like, it, is, it is really funny. There's one really funny Hola. scene where he's with the girl and they're riding and she's telling him all about her, like, her life and how she got mistreated by her uncle and, and how, like, uh, she got, like, her parents died when she was a kid and all he says is every time she, she had, it shows her, she says something, it cuts to him and he says, interesting in Spanish. And then it cuts back to her, still this big long thing, goes back to him and he goes, interesting. And then it goes back to her and, like, oh yeah, that's pretty funny. And, um... Hey, uh, interesting! Is that... Is that I think it's it? just... Does he talk like Cheech Marin for some reason? No. <laughs> but there is a very funny... Very funny wrestling cameo in this movie. Hmm. And it's like Kevin Nash, because he's in everything. No, but he's a Spanish wrestler. The Ghost of El Santo. <laughs> How did you know? What? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, it... Huh? Blue Panther. Nope. Uh, Blue... Demon. War of the Volanos. Nope. Uh, Atlantis. Nope. Uh. Is it a guy who wears a mask? Nope. Oh. Rey Mysterio Sr. He wears a mask! He does not! Well, he used to. Well, in the 30s. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Justin, you got no guesses on this? Mexican wrestler might be in this movie? Madonna's lover. <laughs> he's. Luis <laughs> Vincent. He's white and he's dead. Hector <laughs> Garza. Hector Garza, terrible guess. You are fired. <laughs> Only because I hate Hector Garza. No, it is one M- Mondo Guerrero. Ah, Mondo. Mondo. Not even a real Mexican. The lost. Guerrero. Is he not a real Mexican? He's a Texan. Yeah, but he's a Mexican Texan. They're born over on the other side of the border. He's a. Uh... Is he? But he's the oldest one, isn't he? He's one of the older ones. But yeah, he's in it, and he totally has a They're fucking hilarious possible. death scene. <laughs> Pretty funny. Stuff. Uh, Justin, see anything? Any movies you saw that you want to talk about? What did you see? You want to talk about the core? Oh, I'll talk about the core all day long. <laughs> I know. Do not give him a forum to talk about the core. <laughs> well, I can join in. It's a great goddamn movie. No, I don't. Do, do your own the only, goddamn what, podcast for the core. The only thing I've ever seen from the core is from the uh, trailers. The trailer where it's Aaron Eckhart going, Microwave is literally cook the planet. <laughs> <laughs> like, just some, some it's shatter style. Yeah. yeah. Did, did, did you see anything? Uh, see, what did you see? Looper? I saw Looper. And? Looper's really good. I liked that, I liked that a lot. You yeah, the concept of it? No, the concept was pretty neat. It had a very, uh, had a very similar vibe to, uh, other sort of time jumping movies like, uh, like, uh, like 13 Monkeys. 12 Monkeys. 12 Monkeys. 12 Monkeys. Yeah. 13 Ghosts. 13 Ghosts. Not 13 Ghosts. Ghosts. Uh, and also had a very Blade Runner feel with regards to how memory is, uh, uh, how memory interacts with each other and, you know, the idea of memory creation and so forth. Mm. Um, Joseph gordon was excellent, as usual. Uh, Bruce Willis was actually quite good in it as well. Mm. Uh, one of his better uh, uh, roles he's played in a long time. In the trailers, he looks terrible. He's pretty haggard. Yeah, he looks really haggard. Yeah, he does. But the then I've seen, I've seen previews for the new Die Hard movie, and he looks, like, fine. So Lots of makeup. Yeah, it must be. Not quite as, not quite as uh, makeup and CGI as that one where they all have... Oh, like surrogates. Surrogates, yeah. Yeah, he looks silly in that movie. That's so weird. Yeah, but... I saw that in the Surprising, you know what? Like, I know a lot of people 
that did see that movie didn't like it. I thought I liked it. I thought it was good content. That was all right. It was weird, it was but it was good. To watch. Like 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 the movie story itself was good, but just watching was very distracting. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, now my problem with Looper is that I was of the understanding that I had a standing invitation to see any movies that you saw. But I heard about you seeing this well after you saw it, so I want to know what's going on. <laughs> I was not. I was not. It was a private viewing session. How private? Very. Very. So, very pri- so private that you're not even allowed to know about it. Yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, yeah but that was my main problem with Looper. Well, it, because I haven't seen it, so I, got, mm. I can't have a lot of other problems with it. <laughs> yes, well. We, we won't get into the movies I've seen, because I spend my days off watching movies. <laughs> and I think I watched, like, five on Friday. And so but, you're right. Right. but you have been watching some movies... Hour 20, suck it. You have been watching movies from before 1990, so... Uh, I have a couple, yeah. Yeah, well, so, I have been. Yeah, I, I watched Deer Hunter, it was great. I approve. I Although, I don't know that I needed yet. to see an entire full-blown wedding at the beginning. In its entirety. Yeah. Hour of wedding... Hour of Vietnam, Hour of Crazy Russian Roulette. That's how that movie was. Yeah. But yeah, it was good. Same on filming location costs. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, it was just free. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's good. And something else. Did you watch something else older? Uh, well, I watched The Last Boy Scout and then had an yeah. argument with Nick about why Sudden Death is a better movie. <laughs> Goddamn right. I, I don't need to get into it that much, but Jean-Claude Van Damme, there's so many awesome fucking things in that movie. He stabs the other with a chicken bone. Yeah. Throws the mascot into the, into uh, the, into the Vince dishwasher. Vince dishwasher. Yeah. yeah. Backup goaltender. Who big then, save of the year. Big save of the year, and then gets thrown out for sucker punching the other team's tough guy. Do it, huh? You feel better? <laughs> get the fuck out there. <laughs> And then also... And he kicks the guy in the neck with a skate. Kicks the guy with the, yeah, with a skate, and then he talks to Luke Robitaille in French, who then says that he's going to he fucking them kill them. them. <laughs> or fuck, fuck them up. Fuck them up. Fuck them up. <laughs> Which is funny. What do you say, Dad? He says that uh, they're going to win. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn. Love that movie. That's a great movie. I need to. I, I wanted to watch that one, but there's the, a movie I wanted to watch even more than that was I really wanted to watch Galaxy Quest. I don't know. I've had, I've had a hankering. I like that movie. I've had a hankering for Galaxy Quest for I some like that reason. Movie. Alan Rickman. <laughs> Why do I wear the makeup? <laughs> it is that, that movie and Evolution are some of my favorite underrated. I haven't seen Evolution in years. years. Evolution is good times. I, I like haven't seen it in years. I love the fact that the company's in it. Yeah. yeah. That, that makes that movie for me because it's like. Well, we're going to kind of spoof x a little bit. Yeah. Will you be in it? Of course I'll fuck. Sure. Who do I get to fuck? Welcome to Julianne Moore. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. She's, she's always DTF. Caveat. Orlando Jones is going to be hanging around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's going to be doing, so keep your eyes open. Yeah. <laughs> Orlando Jones, there's a name that has been passed around in private circles for a while. Yeah. Sadly, back I can name... To full circle back to Mad TV. Uh, there you go. Orlando Jones or Alex Borstein? Would you rather? <laughs> nope, Alex Borstein because Orlando uh, Jones is black. Come on, oh, man. okay. Make seven up yours. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it sad that I know a bunch of Orlando Jones movies? He was in the one with the other black guy. Eddie Griffin. Yes. Double take? I was, yeah, I didn't know if it was that or something else. But I think he's in double take. He's in, he's in no, that's Kelly bad. and I's not favorite giant killer crocodile movie, Primeval. Primeval. Uh, he's in The Time Machine with Guy Pearce. Uh, he's in... The Affirmation 7 Up commercials. The Affirmation 7 Up commercials, yeah. Uh, he's definitely in some other things. Yeah. But they what were, movie was it in where he played a fake... Retarded guy going door to door and get called out on it. Oh, it's from oh, office space. Office space. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, <laughs> and he and then he goes, "Look, man, I I just I just need to." Uh, I, I used to be addicted I, I, to I drugs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you want me to get some drugs? Uh, look, man, I'm not really addicted to drugs. <laughs> I'm a late off uh, computer yeah, software, software, engineer. software engineer. Yeah. <laughs> oh God, that's a good movie too. It's a phenomenal movie. Don't tell Dan that. <laughs> Well, didn't do much for him. Look, Although look, he didn't see it until like 2009. Listen, so maybe it lost its luster. Listen here. No, it's still great. No, I, I still. Oh, okay. Do we not 
understand that Dan and people in this room... He's going to listen to it! ...have varying, oh, turn it off after he varying opinions on movies. Yes. <laughs> because... Is, yeah, we're going to talk about Rushmore? Is this what's happening? Oh, <laughs> I was going back to Juno again. Oh, Juno. But, uh, yeah, no. But, speaking of... What's your face? Ellen Page. Mm-hmm. Somebody will be named as your head of this fucking podcast. Okay. <laughs> Which is probably around now. And as always, Ellen Page is a shithead. <laughs> the unnamed horror is a shithead. Ah! <laughs> Did I take yours? Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Uh, I gotcha. Justin, you have to go. My shitheads are... Gary Bettman and Donald Fear for being shitheads, being shitheads, <laughs> and not giving us hockey. Kelly, oh uh, boy, um, what did I? Don't be British. No, I wasn't gonna do that. Um, pick an actor or movie, or a thing, or concept, or place. The village. The village. The village is kind of a shithead. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I actually kind of like that movie well, after you thought about it. It's kind of dumb, because you like a lot of Shadow on things more than you should. Yes. Yep. Last I Airbender. Eat, I eat everything other than Sixth Sense and Unbreakable. Last Airbender. Second best movie I titled Avatar watch, I've ever I seen. I you watch Unbreakable. I didn't like it at the time. I think it's great. It's good. But I think it's great, and I hate Shadow on. <laughs> but I think but I it's also because I love Bruce Willis. Do you like I, three of his movies, at least? I like two of his movies. You don't like Signs? No. Oh, okay. That's fair. Science? I like science. Science is okay, but I jumped the shark when they actually showed the alien. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's better agree. as a suspense. Yes, than, I agree. Than as a sci-fi. <laughs> uh, I, I think I had, a, ah. I had an incorrect expectation of Unbreakable, which is why I didn't like it at the time. Well, well I, I, I know when, when Kelly and I saw The Village in theaters, we absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. hated it. But then, like, two days later, we're both like, you know what? Like, I actually think I really like that movie. Uh, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say it's my favorite movie at all. But no, no, but we definitely was. liked it. No. <laughs> the water is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to watch that tonight because it's so silly. <laughs> uh, Rainbow Head is a shithead. Yeah, all right. He was a shit. All right. Bye. Till next time, everyone. Wave goodbye at the people. Bye, bye. Don't Wave get drunk goodbye. and fight each other. Hey, it's Scott here with an epilogue. About 12 seconds ago, you heard a cut from laughing at Lady in the Water to Kelly naming a shithead. Don't really know what happened. I'm assuming Drew, in his infinite stupidity, hit stop, and then hit record again. Uh, you didn't miss much. It was probably two or three minutes of, if I can remember correctly, more laughing at Lady in the Water and uh, those of us naming shitheads that you didn't hear. What shitheads did we name? You'll never know. Mostly because I have completely forgotten. But we'll name even better ones next time. I promise. See you later.